Hey, it's Dr. Oz. We're visiting HCC Vive here at CES 2017 in beautiful Las Vegas. This is day two at the win for CES 2017. And today we're highlighting the medical facet of the Vive VR ecosystem. What you see behind me is the best virtual reality of the body that I've ever seen. And for all the gamers out there, I know people like shooting things up, but this is where the real action is. This is the most complicated place to do battle. And then if I'm perfectly healthy, it's sort of cool. But if you've got a problem, it's even more valuable. Why well, guess we can actually look at it. As a doc, I can tell you this is immensely powerful, both to help me educate the next generation of physicians, but for patients, it's, this is visually arresting material. I don't have to explain what the black and white x-ray look it means. You can actually see what it means in your own body. But even more importantly, to really fix healthcare in America, you need virtual reality. You can actually create Google Maps of the body with virtual reality. Imagine taking a computer screen and forcing you to understand the code behind it. That's what we expect patients to do. Forget all that. Let's bring it alive for you like the rest of the technology world has done. For most of man's history, even physicians couldn't look inside the body. We only guessed. That's changed over the last few hundred years, but we still don't let real people look inside their bodies. This changes that. I'm really proud that ShareCare Reality Labs can work with Vive because it allows us now to have the best technology to show you coolest images about what's happening in your body. We've got a program called LIFE, which stands for Life-Saving Instruction for Emergencies. And in Kenya, they've been doing research for about 10 years on how to manage emergency situations for children. They've developed a set of guidelines and some training material, and they've been training people in a face-to-face -face fashion. And then we started talking to HTC, started telling us about the VR um, applications with the Vive. The main thing that we've got from it is the difference from other types of applications that people associate with VR. Vive is the first VR experience that we've kind of tried tried this out with and it seems to work really well. In particular uh, is using the handsets so one thing that you can do on the Engage platform is to pick up bits of equipment and move them around. That's what makes it different from the other methods that we've been trialing. So without having handsets and being able to walk over and come back again and move to the right place that would be quite difficult to convey that kind of experience in any other modality that we've tried. We create photorealistic 3D animations and then we take those 3D models into a uh, virtual reality world. We're showing a virtual reality medical training based on the anatomy and the physiology of the eye. I've decided to create an application more suited to educate people with a more tangible approach of actually being able to touch and feel and be educated based on that kind of interaction.